everyone. So today I am going to read y'all a story and it is one of my favorite ones and it's The Bad Seed and it's written by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. And I'm gonna start reading. It's The Bad Seed. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes a bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really wanna know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchline. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it, sure. I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Everything went dark. And then, then, a giant! I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah! but I was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right, I stopped smiling. I kept to myself, I drifted. I was a friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care and it suited me. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't wanna be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen and I still show up late and I still talk during movies and I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I also say thank you and I say please and I smile and I hold doors open for people, not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking, maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. Hey, I heard that. The end. So that was the bad seed. And I like this book because even if people think that you're a bad seed, you can just change. You can say, you know what? I don't want to be a bad seed. I'm gonna be a good seed. And all you have to do is just do little tiny things. You can just say please and thank you, or you can help put your toys away. And just little things like that will make you be a good seed. And you don't have to always do good things. You don't always have to be good. 
because sometimes we make mistakes and accidents happen. But as long as we know that you're trying and that you are being nice, then you're a good seed. And that's all that matters is that you're trying and that will make your mommies and daddies and even yourself feel so happy. And that's why I like the bad seed. And I hope you liked the bad seed too.